Come on, let's worship the King on this morning. And in my life, be glorified, be glorified. Sing it to Him. In my life, and in my life, be glorified, be glorified. You get the glory, you get the glory. Come on, put your hands together with me on this morning and help me worship the King. Lord, you take the honor, and I just want to say thank you. You get the glory, you get the glory, you get the praise. Lord, you take the honor, and I just want to say thank you. You get the glory, you get the glory, you get the praise. Lord, you take the honor, and I just want to say thank you in my life, and in my life, be glorified, be glorified, in my life, Lord, in my life, be glorified. Be glorified. You get the glory. You get the glory. You get the praise. Lord, you take the honor. And I just want to say thank you. You get the glory. You get the glory. You get the praise. Lord, you take the honor. You get the glory. You get the glory. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. We worship you, Jesus. We glorify you, Lord. We glorify you, Jesus. We glorify you. You get the glory. You get the glory. You get the praise, Lord, you take. Come on, lift your hands. I feel the presence of God descending on us here this morning. You get the glory. You get the praise, Lord, you take the honor. Hallelujah. Father God, in the name of Jesus. Father, me and Pastor Amy, we join our faith together with your wonderful people this morning. Minister to them. Encourage them. Father, we pray that the gifts of the Holy Ghost would be imparted to everybody under the sound of our voice. We pray that as they understand and as they are taught and trained in the things of God. We pray that the Holy Ghost begin to manifest all nine gifts among your people. God, you do it the way you see fit, but let these gifts be begin to be made manifest in the lives of your people so that the enemy would not have the upper hand over your people. That's why you have equipped us with these supernatural gifts, God. Pour it out on your people. Pour the Holy Ghost out with his gifts on your people strengthen them encourage them the apostle paul said i've come to you to impart a spiritual gift to the end that you may be established establish your people in the gifts of the holy ghost and in the word of god in the things of god work through their lives use them for your glory and your honor this morning in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Somebody say, Amen. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Praise God. We began teaching on the gifts of the Holy Ghost. Amen. This entire week, we are in the gifts of the Holy Ghost. Praise God. We begin to explain the different categories, and then we went into the word of wisdom, which falls under the category of the revelation gifts and then we went into the word of knowledge and on this morning we are going into the last gift of revelation here which is the gift of discerning of spirits 
And then on tomorrow, we will begin to talk about the power gifts, the gift of faith, the gifts of healings, the working of miracles. Glory to God. You're in the right place at the right time. Come on here, somebody. So on this morning, we are talking about operating in the gift of discerning of spirits. This is the gift of discerning of spirits. Let's go into the word here in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 7, and then verse 10. The apostle Paul said, but the manifestation of the spirit is given. It is given to every man. He's talking about believers. He, remember, he's speaking to a church here. The, gift, the manifestation of the spirit is given to every man to profit with all to profit with all of these manifestations profit means to benefit people to benefit the body of Christ in verse 10 he says to another the working of miracles to another prophecy to another discerning of spirits to another diverse kinds of tongues to another interpretation of tongues notice notice the what Paul said here to another discerning of spirits you notice the word spirits is in the plural there are three kinds of spirits first we have the holy spirit the spirit of the living god come on somebody and then we have satan who himself is a spirit and then we have the human spirit amen that's me and your natural human spirit that was given to us when we were born as uh when we were born into this world from our parent so we have the we have the holy spirit we have the spirit of god the spirit of christ amen that's the clean come on somebody and then you have the demonic satan and his demons that's a different realm of spirits there and then you have the human spirit are you see are you hearing me so the apostle paul he put the he put the gift of this he put discerning of spirits and he used the word spirits plural which means the gift of discerning of spirits is limited to the spirit realm. When I say to the spirit realm, the, the gift of discerning of spirits enables us as children of God to discern the power of God, the Holy Ghost, the presence of God. Listen to me good. When you feel and sense the presence of God in the atmosphere, when you sense miracles are beginning to take place, you, when you sense or, or you can feel in your spirit man that there is a atmosphere of faith that is the gift of discerning of spirits being made manifest if you can feel the presence of god in the room if you can discern the presence of god in a room come on here somebody that's actually a manifestation of the gifts of the holy ghost without the holy ghost you would not be able to tell the difference come on somebody so the mere fact you can discern and feel the presence of God that's a manifestation of the gift of discerning of spirits because you can discern the presence of God you can discern the presence of Satan and you can discern the presence of the human spirit and under the presence of God of course God have his angelic hosts amen who serve and work for God who are here to minister to the children of God the Bible says are they not all ministering spirits sent forth to to minister for those who are heirs of salvation. The, the spirits he's talking about is the angels of God, amen, who stand God to protect us. They minister to us. They minister for us. Are you listening to me? They came and brought Elijah food when Jesus was tempted by Satan. The Bible says the angels came and ministered to him. Are you hearing me? And it takes the operation of the gift of discerning of spirits for you to even see angels. Everybody doesn't see angels, but we know this is biblical. Daniel saw angels. Jesus saw angels. The apostle Peter saw angels. Abraham saw angels. Elijah and Elisha saw angels. Joshua saw angels. Moses saw angels. The list goes on and on and on. Angels are still being manifested in our day and time. And when that happens, it's a gift. It's a gift of the manifestation of discerning of spirits. The gift of discerning of spirits also allows us to see into the spirit realm. The gift of discerning of spirits allows us to see 
into the spirit realm and be able to distinguish or discern the difference whether it's God operating, Satan operating, or it's just a human spirit. Are you listening to me? Now watch this. The gifts of discerning of spirits. Let me give you a little description. The supernatural ability given by the Holy Ghost to be able to discern which spirit is operating, whether the Holy Spirit, the human spirit, or demonic spirit of the devil. This gift distinguishes which spirit is in operation. Are you hearing me? This manifestation of the Holy Spirit allows us to see in the realm of the Spirit whatever the Holy Spirit sees fit for us to see at a given moment. Remember when they were when they were stoning Stephen to death under Paul. That was before Paul was saved. Remember the Bible says Stephen said, the Bible says he looked up and he saw the heavens open. And he, and Stephen could see Jesus standing at the right hand of God. When he spoke those words out to those men, they got even more consumed with hatred and, ang hatred and anger, and they stoned this man to death. How was he able to see Jesus standing, not sitting, standing at the right hand of God? That was an operation of the gift of discerning of spirits. The Holy Spirit, through that gift, open, pull the veil back, and he was able to see into heaven, and he saw Jesus standing at the right hand of God. Now, I, I will begin to give you some examples of this gift from the Bible in our own lives, and let me say this to you. Let me say this to you. Remember, the gift of discerning of spirits fall under the category of the revelation gifts because they reveal something. That's the word of wisdom, the word of knowledge, and discerning of spirits. Amen? Oh, I'll tell you what. This gift is a lifesaver. Listen to me good. I want to take you into the Bible. I, I want you to see this gift in operation in the New Testament here. In Luke chapter 6, beginning at verses 7 through 11. The Bible says, And the scribes and Pharisees watched him, whether he would heal on the Sabbath day, that they might find an accusation against him. Watch this. The Bible says, But he knew their thoughts. And said to the man which had the withered hand, rise up and stand forth in the midst. And he arose and stood forth. Then said Jesus unto them, I, I will ask you one thing. Is it lawful on the Sabbath days to do good or to do evil, to save life or to destroy it? And looking round about upon them all, he said unto them, stretch forth your hand. And he did so, and his hand was restored whole as the other. And they were all filled with madness and commune one with another what they might do to him and how they might kill him. Come on, somebody. But you see, Jesus knew their thoughts. He saw into their minds. He saw into their spirits. He saw into their hearts. How was he able to know their thoughts? How was he able to see the wickedness that they were planning to do to him? It was the gift of discerning of spirits. He could see exactly into their hearts what they wanted to do to him. He knew they were evil, but it was this gift of discerning of spirits that, that he was able to discern their thoughts. I, and notice what I said now. This is called the gift of discerning of spirits. You can get natural discernment. The Bible talks about it in Hebrews 5. You can get natural discernment just from having from being strong in your knowledge in the Word of God. From a strong knowledge of the Word of God, you can just be good at, you can just be good at what you call discernment. But that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the manifestation of the gift of discerning of spirits when supernaturally by the Holy Ghost, you know the evil that that's people are thinking inside their hearts and spirit towards you. Are you listening to me? And this is not the gift of being judgmental. Being critical and judgmental is not the operation of the of the gift of discerning of spirits. This is a manifestation. This is supernatural when it happens. Are you listening to me? Watch this. I'll give you another example of this here. Let's go into the book of Mark chapter 2. 
verses 8 through 12, the Bible says, and immediately, watch these words now, when Jesus perceived in his spirit that they so reasoned within themselves, he said unto them, why are you reasoning these things in your heart? This was when the, those men ripped the roof open and they brought, hung the paralyzed man down through the roof on four ropes laying on a cot. And Jesus realized that the Pharisees, they were questioning him. They were thinking evil towards him. And another trans another another place in the gospel the bible says jesus said why do you think evil in your hearts that was the gift of discerning of spirits being made manifest through his life the holy ghost wanted jesus to know these pharisees are here to oppose you come on somebody don't trust them so the bible says jesus said in verse 9 whether is it easier to say to the sick of the palsy your sins be forgiven the ought to say arise take up your bed and walk but that you may know that the son of man has power on earth to forgive sins he said to the sick of the palsy I say unto you, arise, take up your bed and go your way into your house. And immediately he arose, took up the bed and went forth before them all in so much that they were all amazed and glorified God saying we never saw it on this fashion. But you see, the, even though the gifts of healing and miracles and the gift of faith was in operation, the gift of discerning of spirits was right there because it was the gift of discerning of spirits that allowed Jesus to know what they were the evil they were thinking and planning in their hearts toward him. Oh my God, watch this. Let me give you a personal example. I remember years ago, me and my wife, we, we had a very important decision to make, and I was much more <laughs> immature then, much more insensitive to the Holy Ghost. Can I get real with you? Because we are all grown in the things of God. And this other Christian man, he seemed to be trustworthy, and you know, because he said, oh, he's a Christian, he's a minister, blah, blah, blah. I thought, well, we can trust this guy to take care of this deal. And my wife asked me over and over. My wife said, man, I just don't feel good about this. I, something ain't right here. Something ain't right with this guy. Something. But you see, what was, and this is, and between husband and wife, this way you got to be careful. See, that gift manifests, the Bible says, as the Holy Spirit wills. He's the one who determines who you want to use. So right then, my wife was having a manifestation of the gift of discerning of spirits. Well, Pastor Sean wasn't having that gift manifested right then. So I just brushed it off. <laughs> and you know what? Pastor Sean paid the price. I got myself into a mess because I wasn't sensitive, wasn't paying attention. The gift of discerning of spirits was being manifested through my wife. My wife said, I don't trust this man. And I just forge ahead. You know, sometimes as men, we stubborn. We, we, we got our minds make up. That's, it, you know, sometimes our made up minds is our worst trouble. Amen what we want done and i went on ahead and i paid the price for it but i've learned my lesson <laughs> and i'm still learning come on talk to me yeah somebody so how what would make my wife said i don't trust this guy we didn't know this man from adam we, we just we didn't know him. Uh, from the all outward appearance he looked very trustworthy but the holy ghost knew him and the Holy Ghost started checking my wife, set me in right with it. That was the gift of discerning the spirits. I brushed it off and I paid the price for it. I've learned to listen since then. I've improved. <laughs> and you are improving as well. And, and let, let me give you another example of this gift of discerning of spirits, being able to, to see into the realm of the spirit, supernatural things. And this, the, it's the manifestation of the gift of discerning of spirits that allows people to have visions and dreams and see things now now let me say something here every dream you have ain't from god don't even play with me this morning every dream ain't from god because you got demonic stuff going on trying to counterfeit the gifts of the holy ghost this is why we got to have the holy ghost and know our bibles because if you are not rooted and grounded in the word of god every dream is not from god and i, I have trouble with people 
they they have dreams about everything other than Jesus, not other than the Bible. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. We, these things have to be tested by the word of God. But there is a genuine gift of discerning of spirits where people have visions and dreams. That's from God. I remember visiting a church here in McKinney, Texas, uh, a couple, several years ago, four or five years ago. And sitting in that service, I was on the platform with the, with the other ministers. And sitting on the platform, the service is going on. And all of a sudden, all of a sudden, my eyes are wide open. All of a sudden, I'm in the spirit, man. The Holy Ghost is showing me a vision. All of a sudden, I see myself with the microphone pointed to a cockade. And keep in mind, now, this was a predominantly African-American church. You understand where I'm coming from? It was mostly black people in there. Amen. The only white person in there was the pastor's daughter-in-law. I didn't know anyone else in there was white. But in this vision, I saw myself look all the way to the back of the church on my left. There was a Caucasian man there. And I said, sir, come up here. The Holy Ghost showed me you have a problem in your back and the Holy Ghost is going to heal you right now. I prayed for the man in this open vision I had and he was healed instantly. And I snapped out of the vision. And when I look at the back of the church, on the left side, sure enough, there was this Caucasian man sitting there. And I said to God, I said, if you want me to pray for this man, have the pastor call me up. I'm not asking to pray for no one. Move on this pastor to come and to ask me up and give me the microphone and say, Pastor, go minister to some people. And sure enough, within a matter of two to three minutes, the pastor of that congregation, he looked at me and he said, Pastor Sean, come take this microphone and do as the Lord leads you. Pray for the people. Oh, my God. It's, 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 it's mind blowing how quick God can work. Sure enough, I did exactly what the Holy Ghost showed me because that's called the gift of discerning of spirits. The Holy Ghost allowed me to see that vision, shown me exactly what to do. Remember, Jesus made the statement and said, as I see what my father does, I go and do the same. That's what he was talking about. It's the gift of discerning of spirits where the Holy Ghost would show Jesus supernaturally what needs to, needed to be done. Sure enough, I called that man up, told him exactly what I saw in the vision. It, the Holy Ghost is 100% accurate. He said, everything you say is absolutely true. Laid hands on him. He was healed in his back instantly by the power of God. He had problems for years in his back, but instantly by the power of God, he was healed. Now, remember, I said when these gifts manifest, they come in clusters. But what I wanted you to see was it was the gift of discerning of spirits that opened up, that allowed me to see that that man had a problem in his back and God was going to heal him. Are you following me? Of course, the gifts of healing manifested. We laid hands on him and God healed him instantly. The gifts of healing manifested right there along with the gift of discerning of spirits. But it was the gift of discerning of spirits that allowed me to see and know exactly what I needed to do. It's amazing how it happens. These things happen by the Spirit of God. They happen as God wills them to happen. Let me give you a few more examples of this gift here. Watch this now. Remember... Ananias and Sapphira, the husband and wife who came and lied to Peter that, oh yeah, we sold the land for such and such and they just wanted to be seen. The Bible says in Acts chapter 5 verse 3, but Peter said, Ananias, why, watch this, watch what Peter says, Ananias, why has Satan filled your heart to lie to the Holy Ghost and keep back part of the price of the land? Wait a minute. Peter saw, Peter saw that. Notice what Peter said. Why have Satan filled your heart to lie to the Holy Ghost? How can Peter see that the devil have filled this, this man's heart to lie? That was called the gift of discerning of spirits. Peter discerned it was Satan's spirit operating through Ananias that filled him to lie. He just, he didn't have a reason to lie. All he had to say was, hey, we sold the land for this, but this is what we want to give to the church. But he lied. He came and said, we sold for this and we want to give, but he was just lying. Man, don't play with God. But it was the gift of discerning of spirits that allowed the apostle Peter to see that Ananias had lied. I remember we were in a meeting. I was with the woman of God who had mentor, who was mentoring me at that time. And the people were giving money in the offering. 
And all of a sudden, she stopped the entire offering. She said, stop, bring that offering bucket here. She dug, 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 dug through the money. She said, the Holy Ghost told me this money he has witchcraft, and she threw it out. She said, somebody worked Obed on that money. And, and took it out to offer. I, I never, I, I thought to myself, <laughs> how in the world did you know that? <laughs> Just think about it. Is that mind blowing? Yes, it is mind blowing. She just dug through the money and f how, how did she know it? The Holy Ghost. It was called the gift of discerning of spirits. Now, all the people coming, they were given genuinely, but there was somebody in the crowd involved in witchcraft, and they thought they can come and curse God's offering. You can't curse what God has blessed. Give me a break here. Now, watch this. Watch this. Let, 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 watch Jesus operated in this gift when Peter was an immature disciple. In the book of Matthew, chapter 16, verses 21 through 23. I know I'm taking a lot of time this morning, but I got to. Verse 21. From then on, Jesus began to tell his disciples plainly that it was necessary for him to go to Jerusalem and that he would suffer many terrible things at the hands of the elders, the leading priests, and the teachers of religious law. He would be killed, but on the third day, he would be raised from the dead. But Peter took him aside and began to reprimand him for saying such things. Heaven forbid, Lord, he said. This will never happen to you. Jesus turned to Peter and said, get away from me, Satan. You are a dangerous trap to me. You are saying things merely from a human point of view, not from God's. Wait a minute here. How did Jesus know what Peter was saying was coming from Satan? He wasn't calling Peter. He wasn't calling Peter, Satan, Jesus, dis, through the gift of discerning of spirits, he recognized those words were coming from Satan through Peter, and he rebuked the devil. That's called the manifestation or the operation of the gift of discerning of spirits. Glory to God. Father God, I pray in the name of your, I pray in the name of Jesus that the gift of discerning of spirits would begin to be made manifest in the lives of your people. Show that Satan will not have an advantage on your people. Show that he will not deceive them and lead them astray out of the will of God. The Apostle John said there are many voices gone out there into the world, but it's through the gift of discerning of spirits that the Holy Ghost can help us to distinguish the difference what is God and what is not of God. Father, begin to manifest this gift in the lives of your people. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray somebody say, Amen. We want to give you an opportunity to support the preaching of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. To do so, you can visit us online at seanpinder.net forward slash give. You can also give through the ministry PayPal account. That address is paypal.me forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also text to give. All you have to do is text the letters SPM to the number 45888 and a link will automatically be sent to you. You can also give through the ministry Zell account. The ministry Zell email address is info at seanpinder.net. Info at seanpinder.net. You can also give through the ministry cash app account. The ministry cash app address is the dollar sign Sean Pinder Ministries. And remember, if you give through Zell or cash app for tax purposes, mail us, email us your name and mailing address with your cash app username so we can verify that it's you. And all of this is for tax purposes. We got to do things right. Now watch this. You can also mail your donations into the ministry. Just remember to make your checks and money orders out to Sean Pender Ministries, P.O. Box 2726, McKinney, Texas 75070. And I want to say this to you. Listen, I want you to help us spread the gospel around the world. We are trying to reach a million shares a month, a million people. 
we you you guys have done wonderful i mean our videos for this year alone our videos have been shared over a hundred and twenty five thousand times we are doing wonderful but i believe we can take it up a notch i'm asking you if this message is a blessing to you if god's using these morning prayer broadcasts to be a blessing in your life share this video with at least 10 people do it faith without works is dead we are going to reach a million shares a month the more you share it the more people are being reached with the gospel of the lord jesus christ and you've helped us you've helped us to reach a lot of people we have added about another 10,000 people to our social media following just for this year alone i believe we can take that number even higher i'm asking you to help us reach people with the gospel of jesus christ by liking these videos by subscribing and by sharing and never forget me and my beautiful wife pastor amy we love you we appreciate you we are praying for you and we are believing god for your miracle for your breakthrough for your healing and we will see you again on tomorrow's broadcast we love you god bless you take care bye-bye